Andy, uh, final pre-season game ticked off the list today against uh, Cheadle Heath Nomads. What were your thoughts on it? Uh, obviously disappointing first half because we conceded uh, you know, the goals the way we did. But again, I think it was just um, you know, chances we've created and we haven't put away again. So, you know, like I think I said this uh, this time last year in terms of, you know, it's uh, it's always a good time to go into the season when you've got to still be asking questions of, of you know, the players and, and, and where we're at. And, you know, I've no doubt they've put the work in now and uh, today was a good test. And like I said last year, there's no friendlies when people play Berry and, that, and that's been the case all pre-season. So, you know, the lads have put an immense amount of work in. Um, really happy with where we're at fitness-wise and that. Um, and it's just about, you know, um, to Saturday starting to, to get three points again, which I think we're ready for that now. Um, but yeah, certainly today I thought um, Cheadle, you know, um, organised, uh, uh, you know, knocked the ball around well. Um, but I think the goal, uh, the, the first goal was against the runner play and certainly um, an error, which uh, doesn't normally happen. Um, but other than that, um, I thought second half we, we more than dominated the game. You mentioned there about still having things to be able to, to work on for, for Saturday. Would you rather be in this position than maybe have won all the, the games or a majority of games in pre-season? I think, I think when you, you know, I know that group of players in there, they want to win every game, but, you know, pre-season is to get minutes into everyone's legs and, you know, we've got new faces coming in, we've uh, faces that have left, we've got, um, you know, people that have been on holiday, people that are still going to be going on holiday as well, which, uh, again, all I'd say is that's the level that we're at. Uh, you know, we're not we're not um, a professional club. Uh, we have to manage um, real hard-working individuals that have full-time jobs. So um, that comes into it as well. Um, you got to remember, played it there Tuesday night in very very tough conditions, um, and I thought the lads have put in another really good shift again tonight. You mentioned the, the tough conditions of Tuesday night, and you mentioned before about um, you're sort of happy with where the, the squad's at. Fitness-wise, is there, there any injuries within the squad? I know we've not seen um, Chris Holt for a, a couple of games. Brad Sixsmith coming off at, at half-time, and, yeah. and Matty coming off towards the end there yeah. as well. No, uh, Holt is on holiday, <laughs> as, as they all can be at this time. Yeah, um, Brad was just feeling a little knock on his ankle from Tuesday, but you know he's had more more than enough minutes to be to be available. Um, and then uh, again, Matty Williams, I think he's played a lot of minutes pre-season as Matty does, and um, just, you know, just saying, he just said he, he, he had a dead leg, um, so we just got him off. And to be fair, for when Sam came on, he did really well. Definitely, and uh, obviously Billy Ahmed came on on the, mm. the left wing in the, the second half and created a, a lot of chances and a lot of opportunities. How have you, you found him in pre-season? Yeah, really good. Um, one thing I would say with, with Billy is, is he's not been in this type of environment before, and. Um, you know, certainly me being a wide man myself, um, I'm just trying to help him understand uh, it's not just about what you've done on the pitch today, it's about the work you do away from the football club to get fitter, uh, to get more understanding, you know, because we make sure that the players watch the games uh, and give us feedback on their uh, performance in games as well, and that will only help him. So um, I know. Um, uh, a lot of people will be looking at him, he's exciting, he's creative, but um, I'd, I'd like to look at him and judge him uh, at the end of the season and hopefully we'll have a, a, another really, really good player on our hands. Definitely, and other new players that have come into the group recently, Luke Roscoe, Jack Lynch, Jack Hewitt, all the other uh, goalkeeper. What can you, you tell the fans about them? Uh, to be honest, they're just players that we've uh, kind of picked up from uh, the trial day or, or just, you know, through other other people um, letting us know about him. Uh, Jack Lynch, uh, I've known Jack since my time at Carlisle, fantastic football player, but unfortunately the last couple of years he's, um, he's had to have a, um, a, a, a surgery on his hamstring, which um, this is the first time he's kind of back up to speed with uh, football really. So uh, I thought he was really, really good against Stockport Town. Uh, and then he got through it at Atherton, but he actually had a slight tear in his hamstring, so that's why I've not seen a lot of him. But he's been out here today doing some work. Uh, we'll train again Monday and, and hopefully try and get him up to some sort of speed. And looking at, at Saturday, um, obviously it, it might be a pre-season cliche, but some people say that you, you start an 11 in your, your last pre-season game is pretty comparable to, to what you start in your first league game. Is that 
true in, in your sense today? Or is the all um, the I'll be honest with you, even today I wanted to, to look at a few things and, and see how we um, compare with certain plays in certain areas and um, they know my thoughts where I'm currently at and, and what needs to be to be done but again nothing's going to be won, loss or, or drawn on the first game of the season. We're looking at having a strong start, start to the season but like I've said all year and I'll, I'll continue to say it to the fans throughout whether we win, lose or draw is that uh, you know, it's all about us together again. Uh, all about getting uh, the stadium rocking, getting behind the lads because you know they'll put in shifts left, right, and centre like they did last year. Um, and we need everyone again. We need everyone at it because you know we, you know, everyone wants to beat Berry, and you've got to take that uh, on board. You've got to take it and build that resilience up. And um, certainly, I know that we'll, as a group, as a, as a football club. Uh, it'll be a tough challenge because we're going to the next level. So it ain't going to be um, as easy as what you know people may think. And I know people are probably tipping us to, to be up there, but you know, I'll tell you something, we won't be complacent. Um, and you know, it, it, we need to, to, to do certain things better than what we did last year. Um, and that'll show growth, not just on, you know, as a football club, but on the playing side as well. And just finally, what do you do? You know, if you're the, the first opponents, obviously a little undreamer, as you mentioned, back at home next Saturday. What have you, you learned from them ahead of the new season? Yeah, well, they, you know, obviously last year, I think they just avoided, um, you know, relegation. But um, you know, I think they've added a few new players in, and um, I think like any team, this the, the start of the season, um, everyone everyone's uh, you know potentially uh, up at hundred percent with players that are available and. Berry away, everyone's available for Berry away, aren't they? So um, I'm sure they'll be ready to go. Brilliant. Cheers, Andy.